have now been in Iran for 14 days and my inbox is flooded from people asking me how I can visit with a US passport. I've also been getting a lot of hate mail about coming here, which makes me laugh because Iran is actually one of the safest countries I've ever visited. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some tips for how to visit Iran as both an American and other nationalities. First and foremost, let's talk about visas because the requirements differ for every nationality. If you hold a US passport, then you must get a visa before coming to Iran and the only way to get approved is by going on a group or private tour. The organization will send a letter of invitation to the Iranian government which took me about six weeks to process. And then I got this e-visa certificate which I had to send to the Pakistani embassy in Washington DC because there is no Iranian embassy in the states. After a few more days of waiting, I finally got a 20 day single entry visa to Iran and I was ready to go. Once you're on the ground in Persia, you must be accompanied by your guide at all times. I went with G-Adventures, a company I've used before and really like and their trip to Iran has been life-changing. As I'm here on the mountain overlooking Persepolis and I don't even know why it's not one of the seven wonders of the world because this place is fascinating. Our group had 12 people who represent nine countries. Welcome to Iran! And our guide, Amin, is brilliant about Persian history and has become one of my good friends. The tour was a great balance of sightseeing and free time, and I highly recommend G's trip if you want to visit Iran. All right, on to other nationalities. If you come from any of the countries in green, then you are visa free or can get a 30 day visa on arrival at international airports in Iran. You do not need to go on an organized tour, but you need to show proof of an outbound flight, travel insurance, and pay the fee in US dollars or euros. If you come from any of the countries in gray, then you'll need to apply for a visa in advance at your nearest Iranian embassy. But if you go with G Adventures, then they can assist with a letter of invitation, making it a lot less stressful. Here are some additional tips to know about Iran before you come. Seasons. Avoid coming in the heat of summer and the freeze of winter. The best months are October, November, and March, April. Accessories. Bring a lot of tissue because most toilets don't provide. And if you come in the hot season like I did, always have sunscreen, a hat, and bottled water. Cash. Bring twice the amount of US dollars you think you'll need because in Iran, it's cash only for travelers. No banks or ATMs in this country approve foreign cards, similar to the situation in Cuba. I'm Drew Bisky and I'm gonna show you what $10 can get you in Cuba. So if you run out of cash in Iran, you could be in trouble. Patience. Things run slower in Iran than you're used to. Like the Wi-Fi, you need to use these cards which often have problems. When you check into a hotel, they take extra time because they need to keep your passports. The highways often have police checkpoints, etc. Alcohol. Alcohol is banned, so you can just forget about it and don't waste your time trying to find it. However, it is the Middle East and you can find shisha places everywhere if you're into that. SIM card. I recommend getting a local SIM card like Iran Cell because the coverage was great everywhere. The price is only three bucks to top up six gigabytes. Currency. The currency in Iran is confusing. They have two systems for counting money. Rials and Tuman. Tuman Tuman is the same as Rials, but without the last zero. To give you an idea, look at this note, for example, which is 500,000 Rials. But people, to make it easier, they just remove one of the zeros. So it's 50,000 Tuman. Crossing the road. It's extremely nerve wracking as cars do not stop for you. It kind of reminds me of Hanoi without all the motorbikes. Make sure to always cross with caution. Respect. It's important to respect their religion and culture. For girls, this means always wearing a hijab as it is the law and covering your shoulders, elbows, and knees. For guys, this means always wearing pants. Open mind. When you come to Persia, you will learn so much about history as you visit these magnificent sites. The original color was like that, exactly like what you saw in the museum. Keep your eyes and ears open and just absorb the magic. If you guys have any further questions about Iran, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments below and stay tuned for my live Q&A tomorrow. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.